Kay from Clinton Township. So I am angry like this old lady for different reasons. Because, uh, Please discuss the school board. Yes, she was angry. I am angry too about you and your behavior, okay? About this board. You celebrate many holidays in the past two years, what I remember. And now you are afraid to proudly celebrate the so-called bright month for people who have mental illness. Now, June 23rd, it will be Stonewall Day. Remember, you have to celebrate, right? You're gonna celebrate. Stonewall Day, June 23rd. June 28th, International LGBT Plus e e I I B B Day, okay? So please cel celebrate, do me a favor. Now, Mr. Lawyer, sitting by Mr. President, is very symbolic, not only to this board, but all over the country and Michigan. How many of you are lawyers? Three, four, all of you? Are you proud of yourself? What are you doing? Do you know the U.S. has, has more lawyers than another 190 countries? 190. I think it is enough. Is a part of the reason why we're losing our constitutional rights and freedoms every day. Amen. Now let's talk about the education. You care so much about education, right? Education and illegal immigration, open borders, is related. So please don't interrupt me. 12 to 15 million came to U.S. in the last few years. In Michigan, official number is 102,000. Official, unofficial, maybe half a million. Real crime rates up, spending on healthcare, education, public education, housing, welfare of illegals are rising. There are questions for you. How many children of illegal aliens are in Chippewa Valley schools? How many? Do you know? Do you care? How many have been expelled or reported to police or bullied? How many? Do you know? Do you care? Interest of citizens always should be, be Put first, charity always start at home. Michigan and America first. Private election is coming. Two members of the school board are looking for better pay jobs in Clinton Township Board. Question is why we should vote for Mr. Shannon King and Mr. Bruce Wade? Why? They weren't interested in resolving oh, problems funny? with the porn books in the last two years. They stonewall, kick the can over and over again. Don't vote for them. Thank you. That's very funny. Uh, next, uh, is that <laughs> is board members? Is there anything? Uh, I just want to comment on commencements. God blessed us with a beautiful day, and we acknowledge. Praise the Lord. And we acknowledge and we'll celebrated. Um, Happy Juneteenth.
just want to just recognition to all our graduates this year. Um, fantastic uh, work, uh, and I think it's just all the different uh, accolades and things that our, our graduates have received and continue to receive. I think it's just a, a, a great indication of all the hard work that our administrators, our teachers, all our staff uh, puts on to, uh, to be able to provide a, a great education for, for our community. So just appreciative of everyone's hard work and graduates and all our students. So thank you. Okay. Mr. Wade? Yeah, I just want to do a follow-up comment and I don't know how the issue started, but I'm just going to tell you what I know about. There, there was an incident at Dakota and I was as offended as anybody that that happened. And I say that in this room paid for those people's education. And I thought it was a slap in the face if they, they act that way. Now, I don't know where it started about this being slept on, uh, swept under the rug. I can tell you that I was assured, and I, I'm pretty sure it's good information, that the incident is being followed up on Sheriff's Department and anybody who's done an investigation like that, it's a very long process. I believe there was 20 some people that entered that school and for a couple detectives to try to schedule all those interviews is very time consuming. So any of us that care about the district, I don't think it does anybody any good to start launching hand grenades at other people and saying this is being swept under the rug. And That's a threat. Hmm? If you want to attack me for coming out and saying that, I, I'm just going to say it because I think it's, it's, it's not fair. Um, I probably would have been a little harder on the, the kids that were involved in this incident. Maybe that's because of my background. But uh, I, I was very offended teachers, administrators that worked so hard throughout the year to bring so many positive things to the schools, and they did, to have it be culminated by something like that. I just, I, I thought it was just really poor, and uh, I don't believe anybody is sweeping it under the rug. So if you want to believe that, that's up to you. I'm not going to try to convince anybody any other way, but
What? Oh, uh, yeah. You gotta go behind that bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really? Good. 